evening. Thanks very much for joining us on this special edition of India Business Hour as we continue our comprehensive coverage of the government's demonetization drive. Joining me on the top of the show is a very special guest, M. Chandra Babu Naidu, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, also the man who's heading the government's panel on digital payments. It's a 13-member committee that's been set up by the government, by Prime Minister Modi, under the aegis of the Niti Aayog. Mr. Naidu, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Before I talk to you about the efforts that are being made under your committee to try and digitize India. Could I ask you to tell us what the situation on the ground is in the state of Andhra Pradesh? Because if you talk to chief ministers of Kerala, West Bengal, you talk to some of the Congress leaders, I would hope that beyond the political differences and political ideology, what they are giving us is a true picture and they seem to believe that things have not really improved, that things continue to limp back to normalcy of some degree. What is the situation in your state, sir? No, as a matter of fact, in the beginning there was a big problem because of our currency and also we are not prepared for digital economy. That is the reality. Today, day by day, situation is improving because of uh, 2,000 rupees notes and also 500 rupees and smaller denominations. It is improving, but we have to manage very effectively. Simultaneously, we have to go for mobile currency. That is very, very important. Even yesterday, mm -hmm. I had a meeting in Delhi. I discussed with chief ministers and also technology experts. We have arrived three ways of uh, going for mobile currency. One is Aadhaar mm -hmm. Pay. <coughs> for Aadhaar Pay, only one smartphone merchant should have. And at the same time, biometric device. If you can attach, it will work as a micro ATM. Even consumer will have only order number and also bank name. Mm -hmm. Automatically you can transact. Second way, even feature phone and also smartphone. We are having nearly yes. 60 crore phones. USSD, mm. they have simplified mm. new version. It is very easy to mm. transact. Even UPA mm. has networked as on today. 33 banks and also interoperability they have brought it and also more than right. 103 banks they have synchronized Aadhaar account. Third way hmm. swiping only card, card may be the Jandan card, Rupee card yes. or Master card or Visa card. We need swiping machines either ATM or micro ATM or uh, EPOS or MPOS, these are all the missions we need, mm. then automatically transactions can be done. I understand, Mr. Naidu, that, that uh, you know, the committee has decided that you will be importing at least 10 lakh EPOS machines, 1.8 lakh MPOS cost-effective machines, and I understand that this business of importing these machines will start in January of 2017. But before I get to that, sir, if I could ask you about the impact on the uh, economy of the state, the impact as far as revenue is concerned, because this has been one of the concerns raised by state finance ministers at the meeting of the GST Council. Uh, can you tell us whether you have seen job losses uh, both in the formal as well as the informal sector, especially in the construction sector, whether demonetization has impacted your own infrastructure development plans for the state? No, what I am saying as on today, there is some impact, especially October effect is not there that much in November. December, there is impact. January, it may have some impact. That is the reality. Mm. How fast we can go for mobile currency is important issue here. What is the economy? Somebody has to produce, somebody has to consume. If nobody is uh, consuming, nobody is producing, nobody is paying salaries, there is a problem. Either infrastructure mm. or construction or any activity in small traders, everywhere the problem is there. But in other place, one week time we are able to reach 25% mobile currency. That is the okay. big uh, quantum jump, especially holidays. Our people are doing more, 30-35%. 
I understand, Mr. Naidu, that you have uh, an ambition to actually take Vijayawada cashless very shortly, sir. Uh, how are you planning to do that? What is the timeline that you're working with? No, this is very clear. I told you, mobile currency, there is only three ways. Aadhaar Pay and also mobile phone, third one, swiping. For all these things, we need infrastructure wherever there is a low-hanging fruit. We want to tackle first. Everybody is having a smartphone, even Kirana shop owner. We, they need only biometric device. It is costing 2,000 rupees. Mm. I am giving 1,000 rupees subsidy. We are getting machines within the country, even we are importing. Next month we are planning to put in the market nearly 1 lakh biometric device. If I put 1 lakh biometric uh, device, one lakh shops, they can operate this. That is very easy. Hmm. And also future phone. What is going to be the cost Everybody of all of this, Mr. Naidu? Uh, is there an estimate on the kind of cost that the government will incur, whether it's the central government or the state governments, for the import of uh, some no, of these machines, whether it's the EPOS, the MPOS, or the biometric machines? No, what I'm saying, simplest way, everybody is having smartphone, Android phone, we have to add one biometric device. It is costing 2,000 rupees. 1,000 rupees, okay. we are giving subsidy from government side. Suppose uh -huh. 1 lakh. It is costing nearly 100 crores. We mm. have to spend that, that, that amount of money. Then it will happen. Mm. That is how we are working in a big way. Okay. Uh, Mr. Naidu, uh, you know, We've now got two big events coming up. We've got the budget in the f month of February, the 1st of February, and then you have the possibility of the GST rollout. The government says it's still working with the 1st of April. Let me start by asking you, do you believe a 1st of April 2017 rollout for the GST is still doable, or are you now realistically working with the 1st of July target, sir? No, I am referring July 1st, they have to roll out. Now everybody is okay. waiting for that. Government of uh, okay. India has to bring some more consensus and then move forward. Second one, mm -hmm. even this uh, committee on demonetization, we are going to give interim report immediately with all these mm -hmm. uh, recommendations. And also final report, it will take some more time, but interim report we are very keen to give it to PM first week of uh, January. Uh, what will that interim report essentially say? What would the action agenda be, uh, you know, that you propose to the Prime Minister when you submit that <coughs> report in the first week of January? No, you know very well, there are three ways of uh, mobile currency. If you wanted to encourage mobile currency, okay. uh, digital currency cost of uh, transaction should be lower than physical currency. Mm. That is the fundamental okay. goal. Then only people will mm. move in that direction. Second one, there is a big gap with hardware. Even uh, MPOS, EPOS, smartphone, biometric device, all these things, there is a problem. Third one, hmm. back end from bank side, either servers or cloud or uh, programming software, they are having some more problems. That uh, we have to hmm. address. Communication, infrastructure, even there is a hmm. bandwidth problem. Some areas we are having, some areas we don't have, that we have to strengthen. Then ultimately, mm. we have to train people, attitude problem. Somebody is having cell phone, he is uh, standing in queue for hours together to draw money for yeah. ATM. He is unable to mm. transact through mobile. There is, the problem mm. is very clear, it is an attitude problem. How to train, how to so, motivate them. Even ATM, right. So realistically, Mr. Naidu, given... Sure. Given the constraints that we're dealing with, and you articulated uh, several of them uh, on the infrastructure side, on the skills side, on the financial literacy side, when do you expect normalcy to return? Uh, the government is still hoping that remonetization, the process of remonetization, will continue to gather pace. But when do you expect normalcy to return uh, all over India, sir? No, what I'm saying, it all depends upon uh, governments bankers and RBI. If you can take a proactive step, 
even if you give incentives for the traders and also even digital uh, transaction that is mobile uh, currency day, cost of mobile currency will be cost effective then people are very okay. intelligent they will shift immediately yeah. now there is a advantage 500 rupees has come 2000 rupees are there mm. but there is rural area there is still there is a problem either farmers mm. or poor people those who don't know how to operate also these are all the problems yeah. we are facing now better way as far as possible, you have to take maximum extent in urban areas for mobile currency. In rural areas, some more time, some more cash you have to manage. Then it will balance. Okay. okay. Uh, Mr. Naidu, you know, uh, let me ask you about your expectations from the budget because the hope is that this budget, in a sense, is going to try and counter the negative impact of demonetization. It will provide a stimulus to the economy. What would your budget wish list be from the government? No, I am very clear. One is demonetization in the long run. It is more advantage for the nation. We can control corruption. We can control parallel economy, black money. We can improve efficiency also. So many advantages, even digital, um, we can have a disadvantage for the common man. Uh, digital financial inclusion, everything we can bring it. But ultimately, government of India has to, and also state governments, even infrastructure, hardware, and also incentives, financial uh, um, literacy, how to do all these things in a fast manner is very, very important. For this, we have to give some incentives. That we are going to okay. recommend in our report to the government of India. That is what you will recommend. Let me end by asking you, Mr. Naidu, you know, we've heard from the Chief Minister of West Bengal, we've seen the Congress Party uh, saying that this has had a very negative impact as far as the rural uh, economy is concerned, as far as the poor of the country is concerned. Uh, do you believe that that is an exaggeration? Are you, are you seeing distress at least in rural parts of Andhra Pradesh? Uh, or do you believe that people in their attempt to try and support this move and we have seen resilience across India do you believe that there is an exaggerated picture of distress that is being presented by some political parties no I want to appeal to everybody now 500 rupees 1000 rupees demonetization is over there is no way to bring back issue is how to go for digital economy and also how to overcome this crisis is very important it is a major reform. Naturally, there is some problem in the initial stage. People are patiently waiting. And also, if you see long queues, so much of time they are uh, standing in queue. But they are thinking for a bright future, they are suffering today, mm. they are sacrificing today. That is the attitude of the people. Mm. But really, in the beginning, over a period of time, there is a suffering and at the same mm. time they are taking that suffering also for a bright future tomorrow that is where okay. all of us have to deliver now well uh, mr naidu you've always delivered on the digital agenda sir and uh, we wish you the very best of luck as you get ready to present your report to the prime minister chandra babu naidu that the chief minister uh, who's also heading the panel set up by the government to look at moving to digitization well, to the highlights now, the Prime Minister's first interaction.